Hey you, watching this video right now. Yeah, you, I see you. I see you behind your laptop, your phone, your tablet right now. Listen, you've been lied to, okay? There's this lie and it sounds really good, but it's actually not that good and I promise you guys, it's holding you back from gaining followers. So seriously, there's gonna be a little bit more of a rant style and uh, you're gonna wanna watch this entire video because the second you stop doing this is the second you can unlock your true potential and actually build a following around the value of your expertise. My name is Anthony, I run an Instagram marketing agency and also run a one million follower network on Instagram. And I make videos like this to help you take your Instagram account from zero to hero. So make sure you subscribe because this is the Instagram hub. Hey, what's going on guys? I also do free giveaways every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I will announce the free giveaway for today at the end of this video, so make sure you watch until the end so you can enter to win. You're not gonna wanna miss this. So if you guys have watched any of my videos before, this one's gonna be a little bit different. This is gonna be the occasional rant style videos that I do. And uh, today I wanna basically talk about the, the probably the biggest lie that I've seen. And at first I didn't, I didn't know this was really a lie. I didn't really realize this, but People tell you to just be yourself, right? This is what the, the biggest lie is, that people tell you to just be yourself and, and followers will come. And at first it made sense, and I feel like I built my brand mainly off being myself, but during the process of building my brand, I realized things, and through talking to other people who build their brands, through working with influencers, I've realized this very, very common pattern that emerges, and that is that most people tell you to just be yourself and followers will come, but I'm telling you guys that you can't start off that way. If you look at big people who are being themselves, you look at someone like Logan Paul, who's literally making his entire channel, his entire brand around his life, it didn't start out like that. And for you, you probably can't start out like that either. You can't just be a person of importance without proving yourself first. So there is a way to be yourself, but there's a certain way you have to do it. And on this video, I'm gonna explain exactly that so you don't start taking a step backwards so you can actually move forwards and be yourself in maybe a few months from now. So the biggest problem that I have with being yourself is that when you're just being yourself, nobody cares. Everybody that has a username that has their name and then XX1345, they're being themselves. That's their username, that's their vibe, that's the thing they wanna put out. But does that work? Does that gain them followers? Of course not, but that's their selves, that's them being their self, but it doesn't gain them followers. When you're posting whatever you want to post, you're being yourself, but is that gaining you followers? No, it's not gaining you anything. That's why people with personal profiles who are just being themselves don't gain any followers. And when you're first starting out, that's what people tell you. They tell you to just be yourself, but the problem is that people forget how they had to be when they first started. See, you want to be yourself, but you cannot be yourself in the beginning. In the beginning, you must determine what it is that you wanna build your brand around. Is it going to be around entertainment or value? Figure that out. Are you gonna be a funny guy? Or are you gonna be an educational guy? Something like that. And then from there, you have to deliver tons, unbelievable amounts of value inside of that space until until you reach a sizable number. In my opinion, you don't want to veer off your path of giving value until you reach at least 10,000 followers. Because once you reach that 10K, you've built a really good foundation of people who know you for something. And that's the biggest thing. When you start off being yourself, nobody knows you for anything. They just know you for being you. And people don't care about you being you, right? People care about them. When people are looking up content on YouTube or Instagram or anything else, they're not looking up content of like, oh, a day in the life of random person. Nobody cares about that. People care about getting information or getting entertainment from a person. Then from there, off building and leveraging your brand, off what you're good at, then you can start to implement the be yourself. And then, then once you implement that be yourself, you start to turn your followers into actual fans. The absolute quickest way to never gain followers is to start and end your brand with being yourself the entire time, okay? If you just be yourself and you post whenever you wanna post and you post whatever you wanna post and you never give value or you never give entertainment, you will run circles over and over and over and over. Niche down. Pick what you wanna be good at. Pick if you're an entertainer or you're providing value. Pick your area of expertise and put out content on that until everybody on your Instagram profile knows you for that. If you're gonna be a fitness influencer, make sure everybody knows about you as a fitness influencer. If you wanna be a fashion blogger, make sure everybody knows about you as a fashion blogger. Then you can start to be yourself. The focal point of your content 
must be what it is that you provide. It can never be about yourself. The be yourself stuff is on the back end. What you provide, your value, your entertainment is on the front end. People must know you for something and like you for something before they can like you for who you are. And then through doing that, through having that front end of providing value, you are going to attract new followers. And then from the back end of them seeing who you are and being yourself, then you can retain them and you can turn them into fans that genuinely like you. So guys, be yourself, but do it smart. Follow those steps first and you will actually build a brand, okay? Be yourself, but you have to be smart about it. With all that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you guys out who are struggling with building your personal brands. Um, the giveaway is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I give away free Instagram audits. So if you want me to go ahead and review your Instagram account, break down the pros, break down the cons, and give you an, a plan to what to do to actually grow your page, all that you have to do are three very simple steps. One, like this video. Two, subscribe to the channel. And three, leave a thoughtful comment down below. You must do all three and then every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I pick random people out of the comment section to go ahead and give away this free Instagram audit. Make sure you like this video if you took value out of it. Keep grinding, keep hustling, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all on the next one.